Thanks. Greetings, wine chap chum. So we are back uh, for another episode in uh, Brasserie Chavot, the week's new hot opener. That's right. It's Brasserie Month here in London, so uh, whatever your concept is, as long as it's Brasserie, you'll be fine. I opened two this morning myself. They're important, yeah. This one is from our dear friend uh, Eric Chavot, and uh, who's been long missed in London's uh, dining scene. Very glad to have him back. And um, yes, yeah, so I used to really enjoy the capital actually. Good food, absolutely. Terrific. But here's even better. This is the part of London where Soho sprawls into Mayfair, so it's not it's not wallet busting, and no. it's also not full of. Uh, people weeing in the street outside I don't think anyway. no unless it's me or you after. but the great thing is you know it's, it's that sort of uh, it's that nice uh, insouciant blend I just wanted to use that word to be honest of, what does it of, mean I don't know but um, it's you know it's family friendly as well in the restaurant which is terrific and, and that means you know my, my kid can come here it's obviously unfortunate because it means other people stand as well and they tend to be awful but it's a great place to come great also, food also not casual. uniquely for a restaurant they sell wine which is why we're here yes of course well, actually, I'm here to eat this fantastic tartare, but um, it's got a pretty good wine list, too. Actually, speaking of the food, which is not what we're here to talk about, uh, we've both eaten here on separate occasions, and the cloak of the night, and it was great. Really yeah. nice. So, thoroughly recommend it, actually. Yeah, definitely. Do, do come. On to the wine list. Um, it's, it's fairly classically uh, French brasserie style. Although well, not exclusively French, no, no. we should point out. Four-fifths, maybe, with some nice individual selections from uh, the sommelier uh, in, in Dira, in fact, and I think... Um, we love the fact that in the by the glass section there's a, um, a New Zealand Riesling. Why not? It's very very good. And um, about yeah. half a dozen uh, wines each by the glass. But we're from Wine Chat, so we're not remotely interested. So we just skip over those pages and then get to the back of the list. Bolt straight to the uh, the fine wine section. What's really good here about the list, and, and we've banged on about this repeatedly, and we'll continue to do so, is um, accessible drinking vintages. You know, you've got some good 07 Bordeaux, some 05, 02 Burgundies. There's no... Um, what, nothing there's no, too young. It's exactly, nothing too young, and prices, I think, at the top end in particular, are very, very reasonable. So you can have a lot of fun here. Speaking of a lot of fun, I think you're coming at midday, th- half twelve open on a Sunday. Half twelve on a Sunday, I guess that's kind of brunch time for most of us lazy Brits. Um, Start off with uh, some Beaujolais, we're a big fan of the Gamay, and yes. now the weather's so nice. Yeah, that's By right. the time you're reading this, it'll be nice. Yeah, and um, and then, you know, fire up this, we have a very nice uh, um, Bordeaux, the, um, oh, no, I thought it was, oh, the Dumaine, La Maine Martin, 07, delicious, it's going very well with our charcuterie and bits and pieces. Settle in in your banquettes, 12.30, they won't kick you out until 9.00. So Say the word wine chap and uh, you never know, they'll whisk you something important up from the cellar. They will charge you for it, Yeah, course. they'll probably demand your credit card and some kind of insurance note. But um, we love this place, it's going to be big, and um, come along as soon as you can. 